Hey there, welcome to my curls. My name is Renee and this is my channel and I'm so glad you're here for two reasons. Well, there's actually more than two, but we're going to talk about two today. But first of all, it is my birthday. I am 49 today. It's crazy to think that I am 49 years old. I cannot believe I'm 49, but here we are. I am 49 today. So I wanna share with you how my birthday has gone so far. It has been a fabulous day. And then we're gonna to get to talking about this gray hair. I have a haircut on Monday, and then I have to decide what am I gonna do with this 49 year old gray hair. So stick with me because I have a story to tell you. So I was woken up this morning at 7 a.m. by Maxie and Pollux creeping their way up to me in bed to give me birthday kisses. This is how Maxie usually wakes me up in the morning, but Pollux very rarely jumps on our bed in the morning. I think he's only done it once ever, and he did it this morning. I think he knew it was my birthday, but both of them just creep real slow up to me, and they start pawing and kissing and licking, and so that was how I was woken up this morning. We did a lot of snuggling in bed, and then I got up and started my day. So, as I said, today is my birthday. I am turning 49 today which is crazy. I cannot believe that I actually have grown children. I have a daughter who's getting ready to turn 22 in a couple weeks, and then my youngest daughter is 18, and she is getting ready to leave for college. Like, I don't know how this happened. Where did the time go? But anyway, along the way, I decided to stop coloring my hair, and I have grown out this gray hair. I have been growing this out for, it will be two years in October. So I guess, I guess that if I do the math, I'm in month 21. But let me tell you about the rest of my birthday. So like I said, I got woken up to kisses and snuggles, which was great. Pollock is actually in the, laying on my bed right now listening to me, which he always is when I'm in the bathroom filming, by the way. I just got up and I did my thing. I launched a YouTube video this morning, which I do pretty much on Friday mornings. Then I started getting texts and phone calls and all sorts of thing, things from family and friends wishing me a happy birthday. So I had all that stuff to do. And then I decided to put my gray hair t-shirts on sale. And once the email went out to everybody who was signed up for my email list on my website, I started getting flooded with orders. So I have been in my office all morning packaging those orders to make sure that they can get out this afternoon or tomorrow morning at the latest. So just know that is how I spent my birthday, y'all, getting your t-shirts ready. So anyway, it's lunchtime. Randy texted me and said he's coming home for lunch, which I did not expect. Randy and Brecken threw me a little surprise birthday party. They um, brought me my favorite dessert of all time, a homemade chocolate pie. So we had lunch, we had dessert, and then I got to open gifts, and I'm gonna show you what I got. Now, y'all, these are not endorsed products. These are what th these are the gifts that my family got me for my birthday, but I'm gonna show them to you. Randy got me an external hard drive. Y'all have a MacBook that I do everything on. My editing, all of my work, my graphics, everything is done on my MacBook, and the hard drive is completely maxed out. I cannot put anything else on that MacBook, and I don't understand all the technicalities, but for some reason the hard, not, hard drive cannot be um, increased. So I either have to buy a whole new MacBook, which my MacBook works fine, it's just out of space, or I can get an external hard drive. So Randy got me a two terab terabyte, terabit hard drive, external hard drive. So I'm super excited about this. Uh, the girls got me some new lipstick. Now I've said in all of my videos that my favorite, favorite lipstick is a MAC Viva Glam. I think it was number five. I did not know that that had been discontinued, but the girls went to order it for me and it no longer exists, sadly. So they did their research and they found the closest dupe to that MAC number five lipstick and it is NARS. And oh, let me show you the box. NARS lipstick. I actually have some NARS lipstick and I wore it in my video uh, where Randy and I went out for date night and I love NARS too and so I actually have it on. 
it's hard to see in a video, but it is, looks like that. And I have my favorite lip gloss over, like on top of it, but it is a NARS, it's called, I don't know how to say this, Falbella, F-A-L-B-A-L-A, -A -A. Falbella. So that is what I'm wearing. So I got some new lipstick for my birthday. And then my daughters went out on a limb and bought me clothes. They have never bought me clothes. I can either take that as, hmm, they think I need, my wardrobe needs an update, or they just thought these were super cute things and bought them for me. But let me show them to you. They bought them from a company called Everlane, and they got me this little black like sleeveless tank, which is super cute. Y'all, I love a sleeveless anything in the summertime. It is hot in Kentucky, and it is so stinking humid. So they got me this super cute little tank. And look at this denim jacket. They got me a super cute denim jacket. The funny story is, anytime I go out in the summertime, I always freeze when we go to a restaurant. My shoulders get cold, so I always carry a little cardigan or I have a, a light colored denim jacket that I kind of carry around. Winter, summer, like that is my go-to. And so they bought me this dark denim jacket. Yep, denim jacket. I've rolled the sleeves up and it fits me so cute. I am in love with this denim. So they did a really good job picking out my birthday gifts. And then here's the funny thing. I told you my parents came over. <laughs> they pulled up in the driveway, rang the doorbell, completely surprised me. I didn't know they were coming over. So th my dogs are going crazy and I opened the door and my dad said, well, come out to the car. Your mother's in the car. So I went out. He wanted me to get in the back seat. Got in the back seat. So my mother turns around and she holds up this birthday card. Well, my mother has a birthday card and a Christmas card for everybody in the family. She gives it to us. There's money inside. We give the card back. This card has probably been in circulation for my birthday for at least 10 years. Like, no joke, this is how my mother rolls. Everybody has a birthday and Christmas card. So she holds up my card, which is completely to be expected, and she said, I'm sorry, Renee, this envelope has just gotten really dirty over the years. And she went out to try to get me a new card, a money card. She said Walmart was out of them. She couldn't find one anywhere. Went to do groceries, no money cards. And so she decided she was just gonna have to reuse this one. So she opened it up to put my money inside. And when she opened it up, she realized I forgot to take out my money from last year. My birthday money was still in here from last year. I guess she gave it to me. I don't know, somehow or another, I wasn't paying attention. I gave it back to her. She put it in her secret drawer and nobody knew that my birthday money was still in it. So I got double birthday money. <laughs> so we had a good laugh over that. So yes, my mother recycles all of our birthday and Christmas cards. So maybe somebody else in the family will do the same thing. She attributed it to my old age. Mm. Anyway, let's get on to the next topic. My gray hair. I live in the South, y'all, and if you are not Southern and you have not been around people who live in the country, you are not gonna understand this terminology, so I'm gonna explain it to you. I am in the short rows of my gray hair transition. Do you know what that means, being in the short rows? Well, if you've ever been on a farm or out in the country, when they plant the fields of corn, the corn rows on the outside of the field are shorter for some reason than the rows on the inside. So when you're, this is a saying for my grandfather, when you're almost done with something or you're at the end of a job or things are coming to a close, you're in the short rows. So I am in the short rows of my gray hair transition. This has been going on for 21 months. And this is what I got left, little teeny brown bits. Mm -hmm. Look. And I have a hair appointment Monday with Betsy and I've got to decide what to do. I posted a little video on Instagram last week showing people my hair and I said, what do you think I should do? Do I cut it off 
or do I wait it out? So, hey, I need your advice. I have a hair appointment scheduled in a couple days. And the question is, do I go on and do the big chop and chop off all of the brown that's at the bottom? Or do I let it go another six weeks and then do it? I'm doing it this summer either way. But is it too drastic to do the chop? I'd be cutting off a couple inches, y'all, if I did it this week. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Do I cut it or do I wait? And I expected everybody to say cut it off. Y'all, you overwhelmed me with your response. I got almost 200 comments and over almost, I think, at this point, 2,000 people watched my little video. And it was a mixture of cut it and keep it. Like, I don't have a clear answer. And so, honestly, I am truly undecided myself at this point. Here's my dilemma. Clearly, I have curly hair. Curly hair takes a long time to grow. So, if you look at this little bit right here, I can't see it. I have about this much brown, which is about, I'm going to say, three inches. Well, when it curls up, it doesn't look like much at all. But in reality, it is about three inches of brown. So if I do the big chop and I go into Betsy on Monday and I say, cut it off, my hair is going to shrink up and be super short. And I really don't want short hair. Like the majority of this up here, the brown is gone. But along the bottoms, I've got brown. So I don't know what to do. But thank you all for commenting on my Instagram page and letting me know what you thought. I was surprised how many of you all said, let it go, let it grow, that you think the brown tips are actually kind of cool. And I mean, I do too. I just, I'm almost just ready for this to be over. It's summer, it's hot, I'm ready for a really good haircut. So I'm thinking, why not? Why not just go for it? but I just don't want short hair. I just don't think I can do it. I have to get it back in a ponytail to work at the ice cream shop, and we are in high season at an ice cream. It is the 1st of July, and everybody wants ice cream, and my hair is up in a ponytail all day long, seven days a week. That is actually where I'm headed in an hour. I have to be at work tonight. <sighs> so anyway, I'm gonna continue this video after I get my hair cut on Monday, and I'm gonna show you what I decided to do. But here I am. Let me show you around my hair real quick. And then the next time you see me, I'm going to have a new do, maybe sort of a new do, not a new do, a short do. I don't know. I'm undecided. And Betsy voted and she said I should chop it off. Mm. So my hairdresser thinks it's time to go for it. So, okay, let me show you around. So it really is brown, brown bits at the bottom, and I'm gray everywhere else. So I'll see you in a minute with a new do. I got my hair cut this morning, so I've been to Betsy's, I came home, I took a shower, and here's what I got. I decided not to do the big chop. I told Betsy, just do a really, really good, healthy haircut and to get rid, we kind of cut my hair in an angle right there and got rid of a lot of brown that was hanging right here and up here, but I do. I do still have some brown. I wasn't ready to do it, y'all. It was too drastic, but my next haircut, which is in six weeks, I'm going for it, and I'm going to have a huge party the day that I do it, and you're invited. But let me show you what's left. And because I just took a shower, my hair is actually still a little wet, but I have somewhere to be. So let me show you what I got. See, there's just little bits down here. There's a lot more gray in the back. Like, I can see when I look in the mirror that... A lot more gray up here. All of the brown anywhere in the top I feel like is completely gone now. So yeah. I got brown here and just little brown on the ends. So six weeks y'all I'm gonna be completely finished with my gray hair transition which would put me at I think 22 months. 
So Betsy said all along she thought it would take two years and I'm getting her done in 22 months. So I'm super excited. But I have some news for you all. The At the beginning of the video where you all saw me on my birthday, that was July the 10th when I recorded that. My birthday. And this is now Monday, July 13th. And some big things happened over the weekend. If you all have been following the story of Pollux, the dog that we adopted about six months ago, we did a DNA test on Pollux and we were waiting for his results. The results are in. They came in Saturday morning. Y'all, I, I almost lost my mind waiting on Randy and Brecken to get up because I had this email and I was dying to know, but I could not click on it because I promised them I would not read it without them. So we, that is what we did this weekend. We know what breed Pollux is, or, or breeds Pollux is, let me say. And that video is coming out on Friday, July the 17th. So if you have been following the whole saga of Pollux, Friday, watch for that video, because it is, it is gonna blow your mind. It is so exciting. And I still have not honestly digest all this information. Like, I just, I cannot believe it. But stay tuned. Look for that video. It will be out on Friday. Pollux's DNA results. All right, y'all, here's the hair. This is my birthday hair. We'll just call it my 49-year-old happy birthday to me haircut. And in six weeks, I will no longer have any of these bits. I will be 100% gray. So thanks for joining me in the bathroom for my kind of birthday chit chat. And look for my video on Friday because it is huge, huge news. And I'll see you later.